got my co-pilot, Owen. Owen Saylor, the newest of the member of the vlog. He's gonna be helping out the uh, Freelands. What do you think? Nervous about being on the vlog? Uh, hey, SeaTac's vlog. Uh, we got seven hours ahead of us. Uh, the trip's been going pretty good so far. Hopefully both the boys are gonna be ready when we get out there. And I think uh, it's time to go kick some butt. Said it best, I guess. We'll have to see. Looks like big open skies. The sun's kind of shining. We're gonna listen to Van Halen. Oh, we got a little snow last night. Walking over to the track. Got some furry friends. Well, coming out here to test. It's a little snowy. Uh, kind of. All right, so we did make it to Sioux Falls. Or we're in Sioux Falls right now. We dumped out the salsa when we opened up the, the back and picking up Peter. But check out the, Peter's daily driver. Look at this thing. He says he doesn't go very far every day, but somebody find me one of these. These things are awesome. Just wait, you gotta check out who's on the passenger side. Check this out. Right hand drive. And he said to check out who's on the on the passenger side. Only the best. Good morning, guys. We are in Deadwood. All right. It's Thursday. It's testing day. So let's do a little sleds. You guys think look the best. All right. So first of all, we got the 1-3 guys. They don't have a sled out right now. But hey, Ryan. Good. How are you? Of course, we got the flips and racing sleds. So we got Thien sleds here. Oh, welcome to Canada. We're doing a survey on whose sleds look the best this year. So we got the Thien sleds. Now we got the KC sleds. Now these ones are usually pretty badass. They just got some sweet setups. Check out Katoos. Looking good. Skull Quest Racing guys. Sleds always looking clean. Tack don't have the pro sled out yet. We're, we're doing a survey on whose sleds look the best through the pits today. And I was just saying, Tack don't have the pro sled out yet. Tacky tack. tack. We got Green Mountains guys got their sleds out. Pull the cover off this thing. We want to, we're doing a survey on whose sleds look the best this year. Uh, this is the winner right here. This is the winner one, he says. Oh, look at this. It's like the bumblebee, like the old school. Yes. <laughs> and the valley sleds, of course, they looking good with the new logo this year. We got the Judnick sleds right over here. See how they're looking. Emils and Phillips sleds. You going to do some testing? Yeah. All right. I'll see this thing out there. You going to do some testing too? Yeah. Have fun out there. So one of the big things that I don't think um, a lot of people think of from the outside, from say if you're sitting at home and you're watching these races online or, or if you follow us and you watch us, um, Deadwood is our highest race uh, in elevation. We're at 4,500 feet here. So um, a lot of people do notice it on the fitness when we're, when we're out there racing. It's a lot less air, a lot less oxygen. And so it does play cards in this weekend. So. Um, right now we got the, the juniors out and the sport guys out doing some testing. Caden's out there right now. Um, just trying to get a setup dialed in for the weekend. Who bought the chopper? New pit vehicles. Who's, who is, is it? <laughs> That's Carl's. No way. <laughs> yeah. That thing looks sweet. It's Friday morning. Drew got a haircut. We're here in uh, Deadwood. You guys saw a little bit of testing. Levi was testing. Um, doing some spring testing this morning with our Larson system spring press checker thingy majiggy. Basically, you put your spring on and it'll tell you what your force is. Some high tech shit. Shocks. We've been labeling cabinets all morning.
It is race day and look who I found in the morning. And he's fucking busy. I already said good morning, it's race day. Oh, well I haven't yet, so. Anyways. Go get Brody, he hasn't been in the vlog in a while. Brody? Sledhead. This one through, this one's being a bear. Yeah. This one's right here. Yeah, just cut it off. We might be able to loosen that up a little bit. We can't film with no good boots. No, but with your rubbies, rubbers, I'm sure we could. Hey, I got a lot of talk about boy rubbers. <laughs> That's yeah, a nice set of rubbers. Not him, are you? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, you're the well, yellow's out in the first lap. <laughs> out here watching the new up and coming riders. We got Knutson out front. Just throwing From like Bisbee, North Dakota. Don't live. Byron with the sweet gear all the time. He must have an in at FXR or something. <laughs> you think that thing's a little heavy? <laughs> that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Wyatt. Rail the outside. Let's go. Hold it! No! <laughs> Why did you switch your line? We're out here vlogging. Supposed to wear safety glasses, but I just wear the sunglasses. Uh, we ran practice. We're up here for the first heat now. So practice is over. Uh, we're second fastest in practice right now. Mike's got the clutching just ripping. And we got these guys, we're putting some roost deflectors on the helmet today. I'm eating power bark. <laughs> Angle doesn't know what he's doing, like always. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go racing today. Wait, whose idea was that with the rain X and this little roost deflector oh, yeah, on the helmet? Was, Wait, that was, yeah, it was his idea. Yeah. <laughs> due to the uh, size of the track too. Would rather be on the side of 
caution and you can see he his feet slid off and as he came down he was not on oh wow whoa whoa that is a seriously hard hit incredible that he is on his feet after that but the rider who made the contact there just the fact that he's walking away from that one is awesome and of course immediately on the scene the snowcross mobile medical team backed by fxr the back best in the business so we are so thankful for them but <laughs> That's not the way we want to end it today. Ripped the fat hole shot again on the second heat and I uh, lost the sled from underneath me in the air and did a, trying to triple in and did a Superman. And then I got run the fuck over. My back is total. Oh my God. Danny, you okay? Yeah, I'm so, I'm so hard, but I'm all right. Yeah, I couldn't believe that. Yeah, I just, there's a puff of dust and he was right behind you and just, and just landed. And then did you land right on me? Yeah, you were just going down, and then you got pushed right in the snow. We couldn't even see you. Look at my helmet. I'm so thankful I wear this shit. Look at the back of this. Look at the stud mark. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the helmet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good thing. Holy oh, shit. Oh, watch out. Oh. Yeah. My god. Yeah. Glad to be. So I decided to come to the hospital um, just to get checked out. But what kind of hospital is locked? In five minutes. Five minutes already. Been waiting here for five minutes. Oh, somebody's swimming. <laughs> Check this helmet out though. Very thankful to be wearing 60. Actually, can you approximate for me? So both sides and then yep. just bring them in. Like just getting stapled back together. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, one, two, three. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so we're on our way out of the hospital right now. We got Chrissy's cookies. I had one in my pocket left over, so <laughs> for sure. Um bit my tongue pretty good. Grizzly scratches from the studs in the back. We got a couple staples back there, obviously you guys seen. But plan is to be racing tomorrow. Um obviously we're gonna see how sore we get, but be able to track them all. We're learning how to run the groomer today. I guess these poor boys back at home have some trouble, so they're gonna hire me and we're gonna do a little training consulting for them. <laughs> Let's go. We don't want to get behind. Well, Jason, don't worry about it. We're doing training out here on the track. <laughs> we're getting yelled at right now, telling us to get off the track, but yeah. We gotta make sure it's good for the transition riders. Well, yeah, I mean, they're, they're they're the ones with the most sponsors, so. Start in one minute, guys. Start in one minute. You always get yelled at for being, being out on the track. Oh, yeah. So, Drew, when you watch this, um, just don't get your groomer stuck. And then, uh... Good morning. It's 11.29. Look at our big clock on the wall. 74.4 degrees and sunny. Becky's cooking. What kind of meat? Are you? What kind of Icon meat? meats. This is Icon meats. Yeah, these are the. These are the brats. And we and we got some bison beef on the grill too. Uh, oh, and bison, bison hot dogs. Yeah, here, come on up. I'll show you. We'll get a tour of the kitchen here. What's up, AJ? Bison hot dogs, and then these are elk and uh, bison burgers. So, got a couple layers. <laughs> Gonna be a good lunch today. Nut and bolt checking. What do you do from day to day? I'll do it all. Check 
Just every bolt. check everything. If you check every bolt and don't over tighten the hell out of it, things don't break. Just snug. Just snug. Don't wear them Give out. Give her a quick clean up, some SC1. Make them smell nice. Your arm can smell nice too. But yeah, this is how we download data. So this little logger here, this is, this is what tracks all of our data. So you get a bunch of this, lines everywhere. You know, all of these are all sensors. So this was Brady in his final last night. You know, you can even go as far as it shows you where you are on the track and everything. Some pretty high tech stuff. Technology's definitely come a long way. So this is a, an AIM system. Pretty much everyone's using these now, just for the simplicity. Um, yeah, basically it tells you everything. Everything that they're doing wrong when they're on the slide. Holds everyone accountable. Yeah, basically you can drag this and it tells you like what part of the map you're in so it'll show you where on the track you are when you're running. <laughs> AJ got second on the box, more hardware coming home. Wonder if she's getting the shot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> We're back here again. Back here again. Scoop them. Nice. I told you, buddy, that would work. I told you. Nice way to fucking hold her. Just ramp, ramp, ramp. Because I have 10 times off. <laughs> well, do that again. <laughs> hey, good job. You're railing that outside. I found it. What? I found the outside. Yeah, AJ did it on the last lap and scooped. He was in fourth and then he scooped third and second. We're just here in the trailer waiting for practice. Sleds together, watching Days of Thunder at the clutch bench. The do. Good. Sounds great. Car's perfect here, you don't change a goddamn thing. Going out for practice. How about that? How about that? <laughs> he made her. Earmuffs and all. Who's born ready? Born ready? No. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> then, then, then. Oh. Then, What's then, up? Then, then, then. then, then lady. Yeah, you did that. Yeah. Then, then, then. Yeah. Look at this apparatus he's got now. <laughs> I figured you were more of a, like a snap-on guy, not the Harbor Freight pry bar. Oh, hell no, tight budget here. <laughs> and... What are we doing here, Doc? We gotta check the button. watching racing but kind of brings back the old vibes when we used to be in the sport class and watch the pro finals at nighttime um, so super sore today I got didn't get starts only uh, sorry only did the starts uh, here we go pro life final
biggest thing that I learned today, this weekend is my speed is there. I get, I, my speed and um, everything, my perseverance on the track is good, but I gotta slow down to go faster, if you know what I mean. So not, if I wouldn't have went for a triple, I wouldn't have crashed. I mean, coulda, sh shoulda, coulda, woulda, but at the end of the day, it was only the second heat, I didn't have to pull a Superman move. So that's what I mean by slowing down to go faster and really thinking about these races. If I get a second or a third in the heat race or a fourth, whatever, move on. I don't have to win every single race. My, my, like I said, my speed is there and it's gonna come. It's all gonna click together soon, baby. He's fast and it looks nice to watch. That's right. Take it easy and be consistent. Pro final coming up next. Point I also want to make too is the wolf back in Sweden. I miss your ass. I really hope you can make it back at this, make it back here this year. And I hope maybe I can make it to Sweden at the end of the year and come and hang out with you. Really hope your your recovery is on the men. And I miss you. Oh. Be easy on me, buddy. I told you today. I fucking love you. Good job. J.O. and Kenny here. Just a little pit walk on the way out. Seeing everybody. Seeing how it goes, you know. But that's it for the weekend. It is cold as shit here. Um, SeaTac's busy working, I think, in the semi. Um, but hey, this one hasn't been said in a while. I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. But by the way, SeaTac still needs a girlfriend, baby. Let's go. Dead one, we out. Seems a little stuck, I'd say. Yeah, we're up, we're on the tour of Italy here. Just leave it, yeah, go throw it by someone else's trailer. Green Mountain. <laughs> here we go. Guess whose beam came out right away? Ours. <laughs> well, we're leaving Deadwood, we're three wide in the semi. We're gonna make Tony a little like nervous yeah. here. Just blow by him. He's on a mission. back to the shop here um, it's like seven o'clock no issues just washing the rig off clean it all up um, next stop with the rig is gonna be the ditch banger race <laughs> Levy spraying her down. after the race weekend see you guys in New York Hey guys, uh, so we're back in Canada now. It is Tuesday after um, Deadwood. I, I was feeling a little bit worried still about my body and I ended up running into the doctors and getting a, a CT scan on my on my chest and my and, and my back uh, from the from the hit this weekend. And fortunately enough, absolutely nothing broken. They said it's deep bruising throughout like all my insides and um, the front chest all the way down to the end of my rib cage and everything on the right side all across my back the um the staples and stuff will come out on friday those are healing up great and my tongue is still i bit through it a little bit so i'm still talking kind of funny uh, but i just want to touch on how you know how much this opened my eyes on how uh thankful i am that it couldn't have been any worse like if I would have fell, you know, face up and then and got smacked in in the face and who knows what could have happened, you know, you don't even want to think about it. But, um, you know, I had some people say like, when when's when's this going to end and when are, when are you going to be done racing? When all this and 
at this point, you know, as a racer, I think any other real racer will really understand that, you know, we do it, we do whatever it takes. And the six, the amount of the, once we do get success from this, uh, it outweighs all the injuries, all the bad weekends and everything. And I think the only real racer mindset are the ones that are really going to understand that. So thank you for everyone who reaching out to me and, uh, and making sure I was okay. I'm doing okay. I just don't have much power pushing and pulling on my, my chest right now. It still does hurt to breathe. Um, I did take a 550 pound sled to the back and to the back of the neck. So I will get healed up in this next week, couple weeks and get back to training. And hopefully we'll see you guys in New York.